We're here at Joe's Garage again, and we're working on the new 2024 C8. And so one of the things that I personally don't like about the new C8 is the look of these taillights. And what I don't like about them is that they're very, especially the white area where the reverse light is and another light, that they're just right in your face. They're very bright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tint these uh, taillights, not the red parts, because that's, depending on your state, maybe, I don't know the legalities of it, but... Anyways, it's a process. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. I actually bought these on eBay, uh, I believe, or Amazon, and they're pre-cut vinyl pieces. They look like this, which is basically a maze of little pieces that we're gonna stick on one at a time. The way you do it is you actually spray uh, a mixture of water and Johnson's or whatever brand of baby shampoo. And what that does is it acts as a lubricant to allow you to place it. You squeegee it either with your fingers or with a tool out, get that fluid out, and it's gonna actually stick. So I'm gonna do one or two and show you what it looks like, and we'll go from there. All right, so literally in about two minutes, I went from this to that. And I just did the two upper parts here. This one right here and this one right here. It was actually simple to do. I'm actually gonna demonstrate one in a second and show you just how easy it is. Uh, yeah, the results are impressive. All right, so let me show you how this is done. This is what the cutout looks like when it comes comes on a piece of I don't know, paper here. It's got the die cutouts, and it's actually pretty accurate as far as the cutouts go. So I have a bottle here. Um, I actually used an old shaving bottle, whatever it is. I filled it with water and a few drops of the uh, baby shampoo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray, get a nice coat on there, and then I'm gonna find whichever is the correct one, which in this case, is this piece right here. I'm actually gonna spray it while, actually I'm gonna take it off, and you wanna spray the front and the back. You literally peel this off like a sticker. And once you peel this off, without touching the sticky part, you actually wanna spray both sides and get this thing pretty saturated. It'll help it move around as well as it he's. Um, and then literally just really carefully place it in the right spot get it right where it should be make sure it's not causing any creases you can get out bubbles if they're in there simply make sure it's right this is flush in there it's not bubbling up anywhere it's not coming up on the edges and literally give it like a little bit of a firm I'll almost like squeegee it out with my fingertips take a microfiber cloth I'll hold it on one end and I'll push if there's any fluid underneath it, then do the same thing on the other side as so, getting that out. And there you go. I mean, it's, it's it, I really don't think it could be any simpler. It's, it's quite awesome. It looks great. It gives it a really nice look. Uh, that's it, I mean, compared to the other side. And the cool part is this is actually the reverse light. This is one of the other signaling lights. When this light comes on, and I'll show you in a second, it doesn't, you wouldn't notice that it was on there, but when it's not, when that light is not shining, it looks so much better. I'm also going to do the reflectors, which I did under here. It just looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, and a little bit darker. I think it looks way better that way. So I'll show you that on the next clip. All right, so I'm about to do the other section here so you can see what this looks like again. I'm going to be using this piece right here on that section there. I'm going to liberally spray that adhesive on there, get that nice and soaked. Peel this piece off, carefully holding it and spraying the back side and the front side. You want to get both sides, make sure you get really nice, even coverage. The finer the mist, I believe the better it is because it makes for less bubbling. Um, and again, you want to get this just right in that spot. It sits in there absolutely perfectly. There's actually no overlap. It sits right in the, like, uh, call it like a beveled edge right in here it just sits right in there really nicely again i'm going to hold it rub my finger make sure i can get out some of the fluid while it's pretty lubricated and then i'm going to use my microfiber cloth and just rub out towards the edges getting all that fluid from underneath there out and voila i mean it can't really be any easier than that that's it, man. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. All right, I'm going to do the two pieces below these two reflector pieces right here and right here. So let me find which ones those are because they're 
In this case, this one is upside down. As before, I'm going to spray a nice coating on there. Get that coated pretty good with the water and the baby shampoo. And that really seems to be really good. All right. I'm going to peel this piece off. I'm going to spray it front and back. Get the whole thing nice and covered. Don't worry about overspray. It's baby shampoo. If that hurts your car, you're going to have bigger problems because I think the debris, acid rain, and other stuff is going to be way worse than baby shampoo on your car. All right, so I'm going to get that right in that spot right there. I mean, it is in there. It is perfect. There is no overlap. It doesn't stick out over any of the edges. Rub it around a little bit. Take this microfiber cloth. Squeeze out, squeegee out with the cloth any of that extra fluid in there. Again, voila. It's as simple as that. I mean, it really, you can't. This can't be any easier. This is this is fantastic. So I'm gonna do this last one over here. That piece is this one here. We'll peel that off right here. And I'm gonna give it a nice coat of spray. And again, another nice coat of spray on the other side. You wanna get both sides of that. We're gonna get it right in that crevice, right in that cutout. I mean, it's it fits in there perfect. And actually, I think I have a little bit of room. I'm gonna try pushing it over. A little bit of room right there. That looks pretty good, but I actually think I wanna get it a little bit more to the left. There we go. Now it's in perfect. All right, so I got that in perfectly. I'm gonna just rub it, make sure I got as much fluid out as I can. I'm gonna follow up with my microfiber towel, get that out, and I mean, it's as simple as that. I mean, that's it. Get it in there if there's any sticking out in a crack like that. No, yeah, perfect. And that's it. I mean, this looks, this looks awesome. You guys gotta see this. This is like. It looks night and day different, just that part. Forget about, you know, what we got going on in the way of the red parts, because I may just leave that alone. I'm not really sure. But you got to see, I'm going to light it up. It looks awesome. That's the signaling ones. That's what the red ones look like. And that's what the white ones for the reverse light look like. They're still super duper bright. But once that's off, it looks freaking awesome. So... You guys want to do it easy job i think it was like 30 bucks or 20 bucks on amazon i'll try to put the link in the description comment like subscribe share things like this can make your c8 look totally unique and different don't be average all right enjoy yourself later all right so i'm gonna do this side reflector as well i, don't know, I feel like it just kind of needs it so i'm gonna take this piece off here Spray this bad boy with this water and soap concoction that was made. And let's just lay it on in there. I mean, it really just doesn't get any simpler than that. Pretty simple. Looks sweet. Let's try it off with a little uh, microfiber cloth, and there you have it. Pretty awesome. Unique. Different. Not your standard. And it still has its reflectors, and you can see that it's still reflecting, but when their light is not on it, it, it blacks it out. It looks totally awesome. Alright, so here's what I'm leaving it off as. It looks like that. I mean, I gotta tell you, it looks awesome. And I'm leaving the red because I happen to have a red car, so it blends in nicely. If I had a black car, I would probably tint out the red, but man, I just think that looks so nice. And you can't really tell, in fact, let me see if I can turn off the flash. I'll darken it up a little bit. I'm trying to see if I can get it so you don't see the, uh, the reflection, or the reflectors, I should say. 
here it is without the reflector showing. I mean, it just, it's black that it looks, I don't know, man, it looks insane. So if you want to do it, do it, man. It is an easy job. This is a quick, it took me maybe 15 minutes just because I wanted to take my time and I'm videoing it, but I probably could have done it in seven. I mean, it was just a joke. And I guess if you don't like it, you just peel it off. The reflectors are not showing there. I may do it for the front ones too. I, it just looks, it looks really, really nice. All right, guys, don't be average. Joe's Garage. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment below.